Act 1 in Grim Dawn has some pretty cool places to explore, but some areas are hidden with no minimap icons, making them kind of difficult to find. In this video, I'm going to show you the locations of all seven secret areas within Act 1 of Grim Dawn, as well as some powerful bosses and tempting rewards waiting for you if you can find them. Oh, and there's also one bonus secret area that I discovered on my own, so if you're curious about that, make sure to stick around till the end. The first secret area in Act 1 you will likely encounter is the Putrid Den, located around the Old Dump area. There are a total of three entrances to this secret area, and here's the location of one. Once inside, you will encounter a few enemies and a boss named Pusquil the Hoarder, a giant rat that attacks you with physical, pierce, cold, and poison damage. If you successfully kill Pusquil the Hoarder, he will drop Bernard's slightly chewed buckler, a rare shield. The second secret area is the Cultist's Lair, located northeast of Whitemire Rift and south of the Foggy Bank Rift. Once you find the house with the cultists inside, you'll notice a trap door inside the house that is not marked on your minimap. Inside the trap door, you will encounter more cultists and a friendly NPC named Isaac, who is close to death. When you speak to Isaac, he will give you a quest called a sacrifice, telling you about his hidden stash and that it won't be of any use to him anymore. To reach a stash, head west from the Foggy Bank Rift to the area shown here and look for a wooden stump that you can interact with. Looting the stump will reward you with Isaac's Spalders. If you happen to find the stump before you found Isaac, your dialogue with Isaac will change slightly and Isaac will just say that he should have hidden his stash a little bit better. The third secret area, the Depraved Sanctuary, is located east of the Burrowich Outskirts Rift Gate. Once you find the breakable wall, follow the path until you encounter lots of cultists. In the northeastern part of the camp, there's a locked door that leads to the Depraved Sanctuary, but you will need a key to gain entry. You can obtain the key in two ways. You can either kill the hero enemy in the camp, or you can get the key from Dereni in Devil's Crossing. Before Dereni gives you the key though, you must find the cultist orders in Burrowich Village that uncover the evidence that Dereni sabotaged the water pump. Once you find the evidence, you can confront Dereni and choose to keep quiet about what he's done. In exchange, he will tell you the location of the depraved sanctuary and give you the key that opens the door. Inside the depraved sanctuary, there's a boss named Salazar and a one-shot chest for you to open. Salazar is pretty tough, but once you kill him, there's a small chance that he will drop Salazar's Sovereign Blade, a rare dagger. The fourth secret area is the Smuggler's Basin, which can be found in Burrowich outskirts. Head southwest from the Burrowich Village Rift until you find an unmarked cave. Inside, you'll find a very powerful monster named Gutworm the Maneater. Gutworm guards a chest, and when you manage to kill him, he has a small chance of dropping Gutworm's Bloody Seal, a rare metal. The fifth secret area in Act 1 is called the Ominous Lair, which is well hidden inside the hidden laboratory and requires you to rotate the camera to see the entrance. You can enter the Ominous Lair via two entrances located southeast of the Warden's Chamber. Inside, you can enjoy pummeling lots and lots of spiders until you find an exalted chest. Secret area number 6 is called Hallowed Hill and is another well-hidden location in Grim Dawn. To find the entrance, you need to cross the bridge leading into Burrowich Estates. As soon as you cross the bridge, find the path that leads you underneath the bridge to an unmarked cave entrance. If the way is blocked by burning wreckage, you simply have to go through a couple houses to get around it. When you get through the cave, you will arrive in Hallowed Hill, which is a challenging area full of enemies that are above your level. In Hallowed Hill, you will find another single-use chest that will likely give you a nice piece of gear. Secret area number 7 is the Sunken Reliquary, and to access this secret area, you need to acquire 3 dynamite from Act 2. The entrance to Sunken Reliquary is located inside the Flooded Passage, which has two entrances. One is just south of the Burrowich Outskirts Rift, and the other is just south of the path that leads you to the Depraved Sanctuary. Once inside the Flooded Passage, find the detonation site and use your three dynamite to blow it up. The Sunken Reliquary is another challenging area and has a boss named High Priest Roldarathus. Just as a heads up, he deals a lot of cold and freeze damage, but when you kill him, he has a chance of dropping a nice rare offhand weapon. So those were the seven secret areas of Act 1 and Grim Dawn, but like I said at the beginning of the video, I found another secret area, bringing our total number to 8. I call this secret area Jasper's Cave, because once you find the unmarked cave to the southeast of Whitemire Rift, you will meet a friendly NPC named Jasper. He gives you the quest called a Rover Rescue, and after talking to him and setting him free, you complete the quest. If you explore the cave further, you will find a dirt-covered note which was written by one of the escaped convicts who captured Jasper and his rover friends. 
So that's my complete guide to every secret area that you will come across in Act 1 of Grim Dawn. I hope you enjoyed watching. Before you go, I would like to say that my goal for this video was to make the absolute best and most comprehensive guide in finding all secret areas in Act 1. So if I achieved that goal, let me know by liking this video and subscribe to stay up to date with my Grim Dawn video playlist. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.